I entered a raffle 18 months ago and won a house in my name. I wasn't expecting to win and the house is worth a few bob, so as you can imagine, I'm over the moon since I paid a couple of quid for the entry. It's tucked away in Wales, where I will never settle or live. I'm in south of England, but I entered on a whim and as I say, wasn't really expecting to win. I'm in my 40s and have some younger half-siblings, all of whom I love very much and would like to care for. My stepdaughter is a similar age and is pregnant. She was raised in a very stable home with love and attention to her education from both her dad and mom. However, at present, she isn't working because of MH issues. She doesn't have her own home and has moved in with her out-of-work boyfriend, who we think has overstayed his visa. So, really, I understand she is in a precarious position. I was never especially close with her because she resented I was with her dad. No cheating or anything. She just felt I was in the way as kids often do despite me trying very hard to form a relationship with her. I can't have my own bio children and was very keen to gain a daughter, friend, but life circumstances have meant it's been hard to relate to her or her to me. When I found out about the house, I wanted to gift it to my younger two siblings. Both work from home and would love the house. They had zero advantages growing up. In fact, due to their mom being a piece of crap, I feel they had more disadvantages and they live in a rough area of London at present. I think they deserve it and they'd love it. Husband and I have no inclination to move and we could sell it on, but we don't want to right now. My stepdaughter on the other hand is extremely well connected and has lots of benefits that have helped her along. And although I empathize with her MH struggles in pregnancy, I also know that she will hopefully be fine. My husband is already supporting her with a large allowance each month as well as her mom. She called me after months of not properly speaking to me to ask if she can move in. I had discussed earlier with my husband the plan for the house, to which he agreed, and was surprised. I said she's not getting the house. She was pretty shocked and said she's pregnant, and the house is literally right there, and why would I stop her from having a good head start? I tried to gently explain to her, but the conversation got more and more heated, with eventually her pulling her dad into it. Somehow during the end of this conversation, both my husband and stepdaughter were crying and asking me to reconsider saying I was being heartless and possibly even cruel by not. I honestly feel very frustrated and probably quite bitter. She was happy to not talk to me for months despite me reaching out multiple times. But the moment I have something she wants, it's, oh, hi, Leslie, how are you? I just feel even more like I want to dig my heels in at this point. Not the a-hole, though I suspect your spouse isn't being genuine with you. Do me a favor, lease it for a pound a month to your siblings. Keep ownership in case your marriage falls apart not the a-hole, and do not cave in on this. Let your siblings live there and be caretakers of the place in your stead. This girl is entitled, presumptuous, self-centered, and rude. You owe her nothing. And as another thing to think about, if you let this girl live there, her entitlement would just keep spiking. Any little thing about the place and she'd be calling you. Baby's room isn't nice enough, you need to paint it. The tub isn't big enough, you need to get a better one in here. I want better furniture, you should buy it for me and I wouldn't be surprised if she eventually thought of the place as hers and wanted to sell it because she needs the money and then had a fit when you said no. Keep your firm no in place on this one or you'll sorely regret it. No good deed goes unpunished and you'd pay for it dearly if you let her live there. Not the a-hole. The house is not literally right there. It's spoken for. Your husband knows this. You and he need to have a serious conversation on why he's enabling his daughter's entitlement or where she might have gotten the idea that she was ever part of your considerations for what to do with the house in the first place. I, 29, married my stepdaughters, 17, father, 40, three years ago. Ever since day one, I've struggled to connect with her. She's always been the only girl in her father's life, as her mother passed away when she was young. Needless to say, she had a hard time when her father got a girlfriend and then a new wife. I've tried where I could, but for the past five years total of our relationship, I've been subjected to a lot of anger and disrespect, and she gets even more resentful if her father takes my side. I tried to find a fun bonding activity under my husband's request, and so this morning I took her to a specialty hot sauce store because she loves spicy food and pretends to be some expert. I hate spicy food, and I have cracks in my tongue, but I figured she could mostly enjoy this herself, and I would watch her taste. We each picked a sauce for tasting. She said mine was terrible because it was the most mild they had and it was too sweet. She even laughed at me for being a baby. 
She then tested hers and seemed absolutely unaffected. She said she picked the one that wasn't spicy at all and that it had really good flavors in it. After a lot of pressuring from her, particularly about how I was supposed to be bonding with her, I made the mistake and tried it. Turns out, the sauce had the spiciest pepper, Carolina Reaper in it, and was one of the spiciest available for testing. I was in so much pain I thought I was going to die. She laughed at me while the clerk in the store brought me something to help with the pain. It was absolutely terrible. He said he himself couldn't believe that my stepdaughter found this sauce not spicy, and she must be faking. When we were back in the car, I told her on the spot she had no phone, TV, or computer for anything not school-related for the next two weeks, because she clearly did this to hurt me. She screamed at me in the car about how I'm not her mother, I was gaslighting and villainizing her, and that she wished I wasn't in her life. I told her that if she thought I didn't have the authority to parent her, then fine, I'll just let her father punish her. She started the waterworks as soon as she entered the house, and surprisingly, my husband flipped on me saying that my expectations of spicy were unrealistic and that I couldn't prove that she really did it on purpose. Even when I took her electronics, my husband gave them back to her, telling me that I'm harsh and unfair. His daughter made several snide remarks, which he usually stops, but this time, he said she was justified. I told him that in this case, he was justified sleeping on the couch tonight. Am I the a-hole for grounding my stepdaughter over her prank? I'm debating between everyone sucks here and you're the a-hole. Maybe she genuinely thought it wasn't spicy and didn't know how you'd react. It's hard to say, but her laughing at your reaction was inappropriate. But also, she's 17. You said that you grounded her because she clearly did this to hurt me, but there's no evidence of that. Again, she could have genuinely thought it wasn't spicy, but you just assumed she was being malicious. So instead of talking to her about it, you immediately grounded her. My final verdict is, you're the a-hole. You punished your stepdaughter without due process. You should have been the adult and talked to her instead of treating her like a child. Not the a-hole, and you and your husband need to work on being a team before this divide grows. Him dismantling your punishment and undermining your authority is a huge problem. He's a jerk, and so is your stepdaughter, who obviously knew what she was doing in the spicy store. Prank them back. Tell husband that you spoke with a divorce lawyer and explained what happened and he told you what they did constitutes a criminal simple assault, and that he advised you to file a police report and seek criminal charges against both of them. Tell them that you have an appointment to go speak with a detective with your lawyer on Tuesday. Update. Husband came into the room and said he wanted to discuss with me. He looked guilty, and I thought it was for the yelling. Sure enough, he and stepdaughter thought it would be a fun prank, and just believed I was being a baby over the spice. He then saw how angry I was with his daughter and got mad because she wasn't all to blame, but decided to just invalidate me rather than just come clean and tell the truth. But it backfired big time. He did apologize, but I'm just so hurt. I'm now at a friend's house. I'm still shaking, I'm so mad. To specify, my husband had a large part in this. He actually is the one who gave me the idea of the store, obviously, and gave me a huge lecture about how I should just go and let her have fun and just try the least spicy. He said that he thought that if I could laugh at myself a bit, his daughter would bond with me. I feel so angry and betrayed. I've come to realize that maybe he's a larger portion of the problem than the stepdaughter. He's blowing up my phone now, non-apologizing by claiming he didn't realize I'd get so emotional over it. I think they've won. Update 2. He's now magically gone 180. I finally sent him a text saying I was not coming home for a couple of days. I felt manipulated by both of them. I've been guilt-tripped into this activity and did not think I could handle being in a relationship where this is going on. He then said, I kid you not, that his daughter misled him into thinking this was a good thing for bonding and that he'd reinstate her punishment if I came home. Honestly, I'm disgusted by that. I'm still certain stepdaughter has her own issues with me, but I cannot believe he's so quick to use his child as a bartering chip for our marriage. It makes me think that he knew we wouldn't get along, even if he assured me it would get better and that he's really orchestrating a lot of the chaos in my life. I made sure he knew how grossly unappealing that was. I also sent stepdaughter a text, telling her that I was sorry for reacting harshly, but I thought it was all on her, and that was wrong. I also apologized for her being in the middle of this, but I still said that I was hurt by her part in it, because at the least, I've always wanted a friendly relationship with her. I was left on red, and don't intend on contacting her again. I just feel bad because I don't know how many other times she's been weaponized by her father. Update 3. 
I'm having a spa day with my friend tomorrow, staying at her house now, and then after I'm contacting a divorce lawyer. What he's doing is anytime we get in an argument, he's giving stepdaughter ideas to make my life hell. He pretends to be calm and okay to my face, but then he finds a way to get me back. I'm over this. I'll also be taking my things tomorrow, but I'll make sure I'm accompanied by a male friend so that I feel safe. Update 4. I received a text back from stepdaughter this morning asking me to come home. She says I've abandoned her and her father and that her late mother would never have done that. So now the kid who's been trying to get me out of the house resents me for leaving. I'm like 90% sure that my husband found out I sent stepdaughter a text and is texting me as her. Needless to say, his panic to my leaving for a couple of days has been overwhelming and eye-opening. I've contacted a divorce lawyer already over email and hope to be calling later today. For now, I gotta run to the spa. Update 5 Wow, this has blown up. I have an update here. Stepdaughter actually sure enough was not sending me those texts. I took a small spa session, spoke with a divorce lawyer on the phone, appointment tomorrow, and then went back to house with a couple of girlfriends and a guy friend. Thank God I did, because he was trying to force me to stay. He even called the police on me and my friends. We explained what was going on, and of course we were fine. I also spoke to stepdaughter. She was mad, of course, but because I apparently told her father that if he took her phone and laptop, I'd come home. My husband was away for a moment, so I finally just went ahead and showed her the texts I got from her, which were sent after she had her punishment reinstated. She was freaked out, to say the least, and told me she hadn't even read the text I sent her. I took the chance to ask her about the car. Sure enough, my husband told her she could use it for the weekend, and then she was told that I changed my mind during the weekend, and then wanted her grounded for not driving it back immediately. I started crying, again. I cannot tell you how terrified I was in that moment. I did take the chance to apologize to her in person, and tell her that I didn't know any of this was going on, and that I'm not going to pretend we've had a bond at all, or even a real chance, but that she doesn't deserve any of this. She cried too and told me some other details of the night before, and that this also wasn't the first relationship that ended similarly. But now she's realizing why, and in four months when she's 18, she's going to be gone. I let her know that if she needs some help getting on her feet and out of this situation, let me know. It wouldn't be as a step-parent, just as some help. I also told her what I told her husband. I'm leaving for good, and I'm filing for divorce. I'm worth way too much to deal with this. Do I feel bad for stepdaughter? Yes. But there's nothing I can do about it, unfortunately. At least until she's an adult. Update 6. I'm out. Staying with a girlfriend now. I'm still shooken up, but I feel so relieved. I feel like a major stress is gone in my life. It'll take a while to get the divorce through, but we have a police report now in which I explained to the police what was going on, since my husband called them. I now have proof. I, 20 female, am the second eldest daughter of my father. I have an older sister, Vel, 23 female, a younger sister, Isa, 14 female, a younger half-brother, Tay, 3 male, and a younger half-sister, Jeslin, nearly 2 female. There's also my step-siblings, Jin Hee and Hee Jin, 9 male and 8 female. My father recently told us that his wife is pregnant again. When we weren't enthusiastic about it, he got upset and said we should be excited for another sibling. I said that another sibling just means more babysitting for us, and that it isn't fair on us. If he wants a lot of kids, he needs to be home a lot more than he is, and needs to put his children first. He's his own boss, and he can choose what hours he works, so he has no excuse to never be home. If he is home, he's mostly doing the devil's tango with our stepmother. Vel and I have always been expected to be babysitters. However, due to my job, I travel for work quite often, so it usually falls on Vel. Vel is eight months pregnant with her own second child and is already raising her own three-year-old. He said that he works to provide for us, and I said that's fine, but he needs to be at home more. He doesn't need to stop work, but he needs to be at home more. I said I'm fine providing for our family as I have the money, so long as it means he's home more because we would rather not be babysitters. He said that it's selfish to not want to help out around the family. I lost my temper and said he's the selfish one, by having so many kids and expecting his eldest to just babysit, despite us both having kids ourselves. He said we're choosing to take care of them, to which I replied, we really had no choice, because he was basically forcing us to take care of them, and if we didn't, they'd end up neglected. 
My sister literally has no life of her own because of this. She can't get a job because she can't be away from our siblings whilst I'm away for work. Otherwise, they get neglected. She can't have a dating life for the same reason. She can barely even see her friends. Our stepmother tries when our father's at work, but she's really struggling with depression, disability, and a custody battle with her ex over their two kids, so she needs our help. We're happy to help her because she genuinely is struggling, but is trying her best. He's just not trying. I said he needs to stop having kids until he can man up and raise them properly. He said he does his best, and I'm an ungrateful a-hole, and that I can start looking for my own place because he's sick of my attitude. Am I the a-hole? Not the a-hole. If he gonna get more babies, he gotta take responsibility for them. Taking care of kids is the responsibility of the parents or legal guardians, not siblings. Your dad only loves to do the bedroom stuff and office. He ain't doing nothing around the house. Not the a-hole. This is none of my business, but perhaps a conversation about birth control options might be in order with your stepmother. Everyone is clearly struggling with the repercussions of a large family, so adding more children now isn't logical. I don't know where you are located in the world, but advocating for long-term birth control after stepmother gives birth may be a solution. Not the a-hole. He keeps having more kids because he doesn't have to deal with the consequences of them. And his wife is depressed and pregnant again. All of the women need to go away for a few weeks. Maybe it will help your stepmom to leave him to take care of the kids solo. Maybe then he will get perspective. Edit. Please stop saying to move out with my sister. She has a place with her friends. She just rarely stays there because of our dad. I'm also moving out soon, hopefully, to raise my son. My stepmother doesn't use birth control because my father doesn't want her to, and she'll do anything to please him. Second edit. I talked to my stepmom. She says she really doesn't want this child or any more. I told her I'll tell my stepfather and make it very clear. And if he doesn't listen, I'll take her to get a termination and to have her tubes tied whilst he's at work. Yeah, he'll be mad. Yeah, I'll probably get disowned. But I don't care. 